Hey YouTube, uh, some of you wanted me to make a video on how to do, how to accelerate really fast and easily in uh, free roam. So I thought I'd whip that together and show you guys how to do it. Uh, first thing you're going to need is to have unlocked the thrust pack. Obviously it's best if you can at least have this, because uh, then it'll help you accelerate fa faster, but you don't really need it. Um, and beyond that, you really don't need anything else. Um, and the way we're going to be, what we're going to be utilizing is, um, so you can thrust, and while you're skiing around in free roam, you can press enter, pick a class, and then, in this case I have two subclasses, but we'll pick one because that's the one I'm already on, and it will refresh my energy. So, see, no energy, refreshed energy. And then immediately after refreshing in the energy, we're hitting C or whatever you found to your uh, pack key. So in my case, it's C, like I said. So let's go back over here. So let's say I used up all my energy. Hit Enter, 1-1, one, one, C. It'll boost you forward again. So we're, in essence, we're just going to be doing that really, really fast. So let's switch over to uh, my desktop and show you how that is done. Alright, so now that we're back at the desktop, let me show you what I used to actually uh, create that, like it's essentially a macro button, uh, which sends enter 11c really, really fast. Um, it's, it's a program called Auto Hotkey. Uh, so you just go to autohotkey.com and you click download, it'll give you a little installer. Just install it. And. Um, you generally don't just run the program. What you usually do uh, is just open Notepad <coughs> and you just write the code for the macros. In this case, this is the one that I've already written. Um, so, yeah, we don't need the blank one. Um, so, what this does uh, is it essentially sends it really fast while I'm holding N right here. Um, so. What I can do is I can press F2 to toggle whether and send it really, really fast. Um, and then when it is active, uh, holding N will send enter, wait 20 milliseconds, send 1, wait 20 seconds, send 1, wait 20 seconds, send C, and then wait 20 seconds in a loop. So as long as I'm holding N, it, it's enter 1, 1, C, enter 1, 1, C, repeatedly really fast. Um, and then this is just breaking the loop that says if you're not holding N, don't send these. Um, so just to see it in action, let's run it and like open back up. Oh, that's why. So open Notepad. As you can see, as I was trying to press N for Notepad, and it was sending 11C. So if I press F2, you'll see down here S will turn to H. And then if I press N, it press it, it creates an indent with enter and sends one one C so. And as long as I'm holding N, that's what it does. And that's what we want to do in game to be able to use the boost. So let's stop that so I don't accidentally do it again. Uh, and go back into tribes. Alright, so now that we are in tribes, then uh, we've got the script active. Uh, as you can remember, I had it send enter, 1, 1, and then C, which is the boost. Um, so, if we enable it by pressing F2, because right now I don't have it enabled, so if I just press 1, or N, it goes to the video settings, or whatever N is defaulted to. Uh, but if I press F2, it should be enabled now, so holding N, I boost really fast, really quickly, and you can see, I got to like 800 kilometers per hour there, you can just get crazy fast. Um, so, I mean, it may not be completely practical all the time, but it sure is a hell of a lot of fun. Consider putting safe fall on, uh, on your, this profile if you're, uh, doing it. And obviously, um, you can change those, you know, if you have your uh, Pathfinder class as 2 that has boost, you can go enter 1, 2, C. If you have your uh, 
boost key not set to C, you can change that as well. But yeah, see, nine a thousand more kilometer per hour, or uh, I guess a thousand kilometers per hour. Um, so yeah, I mean this is useful. Like like you could see in my other video, I used it to get up to speed to try to demonstrate the like hovering spin fuse or uh, yeah hovering spin fuser disc, which that was obviously a really really poor one. Um, let's see. Um, I find it useful to have your um, skiing key set as uh, let's see. toggled ski. Um, rather than holding it, I just have it toggled. So I can just press it and I don't even have anything on the keyboard or any hands on the keyboard. Right now. That way you don't have to be like stretching across to like hold shift or hold whatever you have be defaulted as ski and do this. But I guess it's all really a matter of personal preference. There we go. I'd call that a hover disk. You see, it's real hard to do without adding any uh, sideways motion into it. <laughs> but anyways, that's how you do it. Um, things this could really be useful for would be stuff like, you know, you don't want to set up the set up the complete beginning of your route. You're really good at it, but you just want to test the end of it. And you want to get up to speed, you know, close to this area. You know, I don't know. It might be kind of hard. More just use it for screwing around. But it's a lot of fun. But anyways, that's how you do it. Um, hopefully, I should be putting out some more Tribes videos. I might be trying to put out some videos of playing DayZ with some friends. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.